A checklist is the best companion to have by your side to ensure nothing is overlooked in performing various tasks. The SEO checklist shares this feature for SEO professionals, assisting in the proper execution and implementation of all steps. In the following Persia web video, we've categorized SEO actions into smaller groups of on-page SEO, off-page SEO, and technical SEO. For each, we've provided a checklist to ensure that all aspects are addressed in accordance with Google standards. Why do we need an SEO checklist? No matter how well-versed you are in SEO, it's still possible to overlook certain aspects due to the abundance of factors and details in each SEO section. That's why having a comprehensive SEO checklist allows you to review all aspects of your site's SEO at once and check off each item for your site. Before starting, I would like to point out that if you are new to the Persian Web YouTube channel, be sure to subscribe to our channel and activate the bell. Initial SEO Checklist Before diving into any specialized SEO discussions, you need to adhere to the fundamental and foundational aspects of SEO for your site. By launching a few auxiliary tools, you can monitor your site's status at any given moment and check the results of each change with these tools. Launch Google Search Console Google Search Console is a free and powerful online service for SEO. With the Search Console, you can evaluate the ranking status and display of pages in Google results and stay informed about potential issues with your site. It's safe to say that every webmaster needs to register their site with the Search Console for SEO success. Key tasks you can perform with this tool. View the traffic level for keywords. Monitor page entries from Google results. Submit a sitemap to Google. Resolve site errors. Receive messages from the Google search team. Set up Bing Webmaster. Google is not the only search engine. So if you plan to optimize your site for one-third of all web searches, you'll need Bing Webmaster Tools. Similar to Google Search Console, this tool allows you to view traffic information, rankings, and site issues. Additionally, Bing Webmaster Tools has useful features like an internal keyword research tool, making it highly practical. Implement Google Analytics Google Analytics is a tool for analyzing and examining your site, and you can set it up for free. With this tool, you can access comprehensive data on entry traffic, user behavior on the site, and other valuable information in the form of reports. More specifically, you can investigate the following in Google Analytics. View the most visited pages on your site. Identify site traffic channels. Average bounce rate, page views, and user dwell time on the site. Examine real-time and interval site traffic. Install SEO plugins like Yoast or Rank Math for WordPress sites. To optimize your site's internal SEO, you'll need an SEO plugin for WordPress. The most renowned plugin for WordPress sites is Yoast SEO, well known among webmasters and site administrators. In recent years, Rank Math has been added to the list of SEO plugins and has gained popularity with its extensive features. To choose between these two plugins, it's best to thoroughly examine their features and determine which capabilities are more applicable to your needs and responsive to your requirements. Internal SEO Checklist A significant portion of website optimization activities falls under the responsibility of content, making content SEO a top priority. Understanding the audience's needs and concerns is directly related to content, which begins with keyword research. Internal SEO factors include the following. Number 1. Keyword research and categorization. No matter how familiar you are with the features of your business's products or services, you still need to know what keywords your audience uses for searches. Precise keyword research will help you optimize your product or service based on their search queries. The two main steps for keyword research are A. Identify the purpose of searching for each keyword. Some users search for a keyword to conduct market research and read reviews about a product. Others may have the direct intention to purchase a product and should be directed to the product page. Some users may simply want to read about a topic and find the latest news in a specific field. B. Start keyword research. Analyze competitors to identify their main keywords. Use keyword gap to find gaps between your site and competitors. 
Prioritize keywords for SEO and content generation by classifying them. Number 2. Optimize page URLs. Optimizing page URLs allows search engine crawlers and users to understand what content is present on the clicked page. Important considerations for optimizing page URLs include Include the primary keyword in the URL to make the page's subject recognizable to search engines and users. Use hyphens in URLs to separate words in multi-word phrases, aiding Google's understanding of the page name. Keep URL short, as Google tends to prefer concise addresses and may disregard lengthy ones. Important note, use a unique URL for each page. If pages have different addresses, but identical content, utilize canonical tags. Number 3. Optimize Title Tags Title tags, or H1 tags, are the first elements users see in search results after a query. Crafting compelling title tags is crucial for attracting clicks. Consider the following when choosing page titles. Keep titles brief and engaging, between 54 to 60 characters. Use dashes to separate phrases in the title. Create meaningful combinations of primary keywords and well-crafted language. Utilize enticing words such as free, discount, affordable, and others to encourage clicks. Ensure each page has a unique title describing its content. Number 4. Optimize Meta Descriptions Meta descriptions provide a brief overview of the page's topic in search results and assist Google bots in understanding page content. Key points for meta description optimization. Choose unique meta descriptions for each page. Limit meta descriptions to a maximum of 160 characters for full display. Craft enticing and visually appealing descriptions to encourage user clicks. Incorporate relevant keywords naturally within the description. Number 5. Optimize heading tags, H2 to H6. Heading tags, H2 to H6. Categorize content and guide search engines on content priorities. Follow these guidelines for optimization. Use keywords related to the page's content within heading tags. Restrict each page to only one H1 tag. Sequence heading tags appropriately. Avoid using H5 after H2. Reserve H1 and H2 tags for the most critical topics, progressively delving into details with H3 to H6 tags. Number 6. Use LSI Keywords LSI, Latent Semantic Indexing, keywords are semantically related terms within a topic. Incorporate LSI keywords during keyword research for a comprehensive approach. When creating content about skin diseases, for instance, use LSI keywords like common skin diseases or types of skin conditions alongside primary and secondary keywords. By diligently addressing these internal SEO elements, you enhance your site's visibility and accessibility, catering to both search engines and users. Number 7. Using long-tail keywords Ranking for single or double-word keywords is not an easy task. In such situations, invest your keyword research strategy in long-tail keywords. For example, instead of directly targeting keywords like by directory listing or by backlinks, Focus on ranking for long-tail keywords such as guide to getting backlinks from classified ads. Long-tail keywords usually consist of more than three words and target a specific aspect of a business. For the following reasons, try to incorporate long-tail keywords into your SEO strategy more than ever. Number 8. Optimizing Images Optimizing images for site SEO not only enhances user experience, but also allows images to appear in search results providing additional traffic. To optimize your images, save them with a brief, descriptive name related to the image's subject. One of the reasons for site speed issues is the high volume of images. Before publishing images on site pages, reduce their size using various online tools. For instance, saving images in Photoshop using the Save for Web feature is a good option. When adding an image to your content, use descriptive text for its alt tag. Use relevant keywords in alt text descriptions to increase the chances of appearing in Google image search results. Number 9. Internal link optimization. Internal linking helps Google access all site pages and stay informed about new pages and content. When implementing internal linking, 
consider the thematic relevance of pages and anchor text to ensure the proper transfer of credibility and value from older pages. Key points to focus on for internal linking include Remove internal links leading to deleted pages, resulting in a 404 error for users. Correct internal linking to addresses where the page has been redirected with a 301 redirect. Avoid leaving any page or content on the site without internal links. Use keywords related to the page's content for anchor text in internal links. Number 10. Fixing broken links. Broken links are discovered when users encounter a 404 error page instead of the intended content. To address this issue, various tools and plugins can be used, but the simplest method is to check the site's search console. To repair broken links, update and correct the link addresses or remove broken links resulting from deleted pages. Number 11. Removing duplicate content. After a prolonged period of content creation, you may find that some articles share titles and text with other articles, creating duplicate content. To rectify this issue, keep the content that is more comprehensive and closer to the user's goal, and redirect incomplete content to that comprehensive content. Number 12. Updating old content. Content creation is an ongoing process, and stopping after publishing is not advisable. Every piece of content needs periodic editing and improvement. Update pages that have experienced a decline in Google rankings over time. User experience issues with your page and the superior quality of competitor content could be reasons for this decline. Additionally, regularly update your best performing pages that appear on the first page of Google search results to maintain their current position. It is recommended to update blogs based on the latest changes in content topics and provide up-to-date content to your audience. Number 13. Optimizing Site Categories In e-commerce sites, category pages are landing pages that need to rank in search results. Typically, category pages are optimized for broader keywords, while each product page is SEO'd for the exact model or brand. This approach ensures that all products don't compete with each other for a challenging keyword like laptop and avoids creating duplicate content. For category pages, produce high-quality content and link to other relevant pages if necessary. Number 14. Identifying zombie pages and removing or redirecting them. Zombie pages are those with low value, irrelevant, and poor quality content that occupy unnecessary space on a website. These pages have failed to rank in Google results and attract users to the site. Unindexed, unresponsive, or pages with subpar content quality should either be removed or redirected. Monthly evaluation of pages for content quality and planning for content updates help combat this undesirable phenomenon. Number 15. Identifying orphan pages. Orphan pages are those left without internal links, receiving no links from any internal page, making them difficult for search engines and users to find. As a result, these pages never make it to the search engine results page, SERP, and remain orphaned. If valuable information exists on these pages, it goes unnoticed. When you block Googlebot's access to identifying pages by not providing internal links, determining the relevant keywords for the page becomes challenging. To identify orphan pages on your site, first use tools like Screaming Frog to find a list of indexable pages and record them in Excel. Utilize Google Analytics to find a list of pages that receive visits and export them. To locate orphan pages on your site, compare these two lists of pages to find those with minimal or zero visibility. Number 16. Using Structured Data Relevant to Page Type Structured data itself does not influence page ranking, but its use aids Google bots in better understanding page content. This, in turn, allows for the display of content in rich results in response to searches, enhancing user experience. Users are more inclined to click on results with rich displays. Selecting appropriate schemas for site pages is crucial for showcasing content in Google's rich results. The most important and practical schemas for a site include Organization Person Local Business Article Product. Offer. Review. Book. Movie. Event.
According to experts, the best format for implementing structured data is JSON-LD. Using structured data is not the sole factor for displaying rich results. Elements like site credibility and activity history also play a role. Google provides the rich result test tool for site administrators to check the proper execution of structured data, identifying any related issues or errors. Part 2 of SEO Checklist, Content SEO Checklist The content of a website serves as the reason users click on a site and remain engaged to read it. To ensure that you have adhered to all the fine details of content SEO and have published a first-rate content on your site, thoroughly read and implement the following points in your content. Number 1. Writing an engaging lead and introduction. If the start isn't compelling, the journey ahead becomes challenging. Ensure that the introduction of your articles is captivating enough to keep the reader interested and enticed to read until the end. Despite producing unique first-hand content, a good introduction is crucial to grab the reader's attention, receive feedback, and make sure they continue reading. Use the following strategies to encourage readers to go beyond the article title. Write a concise and informative introduction, using short and clear sentences instead of long and vague ones. Avoid repeating the article title in the introduction. Instead, use the introduction to enhance and explain the intriguing title. Surprise the reader with an unexpected fact or statement to make them curious and eager to continue reading. Convey the importance of reading the content and explain how it will benefit the reader. Start with a question or present a problem to be solved, letting the reader know that the detailed solution will be provided in the article. Introduce a brief story for the reader, keeping it concise to maintain their interest. Personal experience of the author. After outlining the article and identifying what needs to be conveyed throughout, it's the perfect time to write an engaging introduction. Experiment with these strategies and see the results. Number 2. Page Content Structure Establishing Content Structure The concept of defining content structure takes priority before actual content creation. All content intended for your site's blog should have a proper and principled structure. Visual order defines the arrangement of content within a powerful content structure. Segmenting content into introduction, headings, body, and conclusion makes it easier and quicker for the user to find answers. The standard checklist for designing content structure includes the following. Craft an engaging introduction. Write a readable and captivating introduction to keep the reader informed about what to expect in your article, encouraging them to continue reading. Build the body of content. To simplify a topic in content, break it down into smaller sections. Prioritize important topics with main headings and detail them using heading tags, H1 to H6. Remember that you have only one chance to use H1, so assign it to something closely related to the content's theme and purpose. Create points of interest. To prevent reader fatigue and enhance content appeal, consider adding images, videos, charts, infographics, podcasts, or PDFs relevant to the content in specific sections. This not only beautifies your content, but also aids readability and understanding. Conclude, in the conclusion of your article, provide a concise summary of what was discussed, reminding the reader of practical points. Write a separate paragraph for the conclusion or summary. These practices contribute to a well-structured and engaging content piece, enhancing the overall user experience on your website. Number 3. Optimizing Content Pages Your content needs SEO to be discovered. Content marketing without proper SEO is ineffective for your business. While everyone talks about excellent content, it should also be written in a way that easily gets ranked on Google for user visibility. SEO, or content optimization, plays a crucial role in delivering content to users and achieving superior results. Key aspects discussed in an optimized content include Number 4. How long should content be? There isn't a direct, 100% correlation between the word count and the success of your content. A well-crafted 300-word content piece might perfectly address user needs and rank well on Google. On the other hand, a 1,000-word text may struggle to climb Google ranks. Length matters when the content provides comprehensive and useful information to the user. Number 5. Avoid keyword stuffing. 
Keyword stuffing occurs when a brand fills a page with a target keyword to improve its ranking. To avoid unintentional keyword stuffing, consider the following tactics. Define a primary keyword for each page. Keep the keyword density, number of keyword repetitions, over the total word count, below 2%. Utilize subkeywords, synonyms, long tail, and LSI keywords. Instead of repeating the keyword throughout the text, strategically place it in the first paragraph, title tag, h1, meta description, and alt tag for positive signals to Google. Number 6. Understanding user intent. Behind every search lies a hidden purpose. Keyword intent reveals what the user aims to find through that specific search. Knowing the intent behind a search helps in targeting the right audience for your products or services. User intent generally falls into four categories. Informational intent, starting with why, where, or how questions. Transactional intent, keywords involving terms like buy, download, sell, or discount. Navigational intent, combining information gathering with a transaction, often with phrases like reviews, impact, pros, and cons. Directional intent, users who know exactly what they're looking for and seek specific information, such as registering on an official site. Number 7. Enhancing Readability Readability refers to how well your content follows simple writing principles. Avoiding complex words and lengthy sentences prevents readers from getting discouraged. Put yourself in the reader's shoes and consciously create content with the intention to convey your message clearly, rather than winning in complex language and unreadable content. Number 8. Say No to Content Duplication Google's advanced algorithms aim to prevent the ranking of sites with copied content. The consequences of using duplicate content include a drop in rankings, absence from search results, and reduced user trust. To avoid being identified as a copycat, Google favors original content creation, even if it involves translating information from credible sources. Number 9. Skyscraper Technique for Comprehensive Content the skyscraper technique involves creating the most thorough and outstanding content about a specific topic. Skyscraper content covers all related and subsidiary topics under a primary subject. These articles are typically long, comprehensive, and address user queries in detail. When implementing the skyscraper technique, choose a topic that consistently interests your audience. Evergreen content topics always captivate users and forever seekers are those who keep searching for them repeatedly. Additionally, the chosen topic should provide sufficient information to support its subcategories effectively. For instance, a topic like TV buying guide is more suitable for the skyscraper technique than a topic like buying a TV with high transparency. Number 10. Utilizing multiple media types. To increase the impact of your content and encourage repeated visits to your blog, you need to produce it in a creative and engaging manner. Text-only content lacks the allure it once had. When you design part of your content in the form of an infographic or include additional data or a video for a section of your text, you are using different media types for content creation. Even today, the podcast production market is very hot for explaining complex and intricate concepts in your field. Part 3 of SEO Checklist, Technical SEO Checklist the most technical aspects of site SEO need optimization in this section. This includes technical considerations such as improving site speed, addressing crawling and indexing issues, maintaining site security, and ensuring responsiveness. An SEO specialist should consider the following points for technical SEO optimization across all site pages. Number 1. Identifying crawl errors. SEO experts must ensure that Google bots can access their pages or crawl them. If Google crawlers encounter issues identifying pages, you may face various crawl errors in your site's search console. Crawl errors can be categorized into site errors, related to the entire site, and URL errors, related to specific pages or URLs. Site errors, these occur when Google cannot access all pages of your site due to issues like DNS errors, server errors, robots.txt issues, soft 404, or URL errors. URL errors, these errors are specific to a single page or URL.
Examples include 404 errors, 403 errors, and server or DNS errors. Number 2. Ensuring proper rendering by Google. To check whether Google has successfully indexed all pages of your site, you can use the URL inspection tool in the Search Console. This tool allows you to test if a page is eligible for indexing and how Google bots perceive your site. Number 3. Ensuring responsiveness. Responsiveness means that your site displays properly on all devices, regardless of the user's screen size. With the mobile first index algorithm, many sites are designed first for mobile and then for desktop. You can test this feature using Google's mobile test tool to see how your site appears in various sizes according to Google's standards. Number 4. Securing your site with HTTPS. By transitioning from HTTP to HTTPS, you establish a secure protocol for user browsers to communicate with the server. This is crucial for protecting user data during online transactions. Using an SSL certificate for HTTPS is recommended to enhance data security. Number 5. Optimizing Site Load Speed Google places significant importance on optimizing site speed, as it contributes to a better user experience. One way to increase site speed is to compress JavaScript and CSS codes and enable site caching. Number 6. Identifying and Fixing Redirect and 404 Errors When users search for an address on your site that no longer exists, or if the address has changed, they may encounter a 404 error, page not found. To prevent 404 errors and traffic loss. It's essential to have a custom 404 page, and internal links to 404 pages should be removed. Avoid changing the address of any page. Maintain the site's address structure. Do not delete essential pages without setting up redirects. Number 7. Creating and submitting a sitemap. Registering your sitemap in the Google Search Console helps Google's crawlers become aware of new pages and index them. A sitemap serves as a roadmap of your site's pages, guiding Google bots. The recommended format for a sitemap file is XML. Number 8. Creating a robots.txt file and registering it in Google Console. Through the robots.txt file, you can instruct search engines on which pages to crawl and which to avoid. It acts as a guide for web crawlers based on the provided instructions. Certain pages, like filter-generated price or color variations, admin and user profile pages, and chat and search pages, should not be indexed. Number 9. Ensuring Site Accessibility with a Single Domain A site should be accessible with only one domain, whether with or without www, and with either HTTP or HTTPS. Google recognizes your site with four different domain variations and recommends selecting one as the default. Redirect the other domains using a 301 redirect. Optimizing technical SEO involves meticulous attention to detail, regular monitoring, and swift resolution of any issues that may arise. By implementing these strategies, your site can achieve better visibility and performance in search engine rankings. Part number 4 of SEO Checklist, External SEO Checklist External SEO refers to activities conducted outside your website, focusing on external factors. Through external SEO, you aim to establish yourself as an authority in your field and receive backlinks from relevant and collaborative sites. External link building techniques include the following. Number 1. Analyzing competitors' backlinks Monitoring competitors with different goals is a constant task for SEO professionals. Analyzing competitors' backlinks is an integral part of link building strategy. Identify key competitors and use free and paid tools to examine their received backlinks, considering factors such as link type, quantity, domain type, and anchor text. Number 2. Disavowing Harmful Backlinks Disavowing links is a sensitive technique for removing low-quality links as mistakenly removing a valuable link can lead to ranking drops and traffic reduction. If manually removing links from hacked sites, irrelevant links to your business domain, excessive links from a single domain, or links from a domain with a high spam score is challenging, you can use the Google Disavow Links tool. This tool allows you to inform Google about which links are important and beneficial for your site and which ones should be disregarded.
Number 3. External Link Building Methods and Opportunities Link building, or link acquisition, is a crucial aspect of SEO. While Google initially had limited criteria for ranking sites, over time, it began considering various factors due to increased competition. To avoid Google penalties, it's essential to steer clear of mass link building and overnight link acquisition. The safest way to improve rankings in search engines is to use natural link building methods. Conclusion A checklist is an excellent method for advancing through the stages of website optimization by implementing the Persia Web SEO checklist step-by-step for internal, external, and technical SEO, you can ensure that your site is in an optimal state. Over time, you can expect increased traffic and improved rankings on Google by following these SEO best practices.